turn it into something more than that. It was a total accident. Can I, well, can I tell you, No, no, no. Listen I have all the up. proof here. She even said it was an accident. My, my caregiver is heartbroken. It says right here. Let me tell you something. Unfortunately, you're supposed to be, according to the vet, you're supposed to be an animal activist. I am. Now, I, I want you to shut up and listen. Okay. Okay? All right. Try to repress anything that you might have in your system and just listen. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You're an animal activist. That's what the vet said. So you should be sensitive to what I'm going to tell you. Let's say instead of watching her Shih Tzu Poodle mix, that you were watching four of her children while she was on vacation. And you let the four children go and play in the backyard. And one of the children, who was four, managed to open up the gate and get out, mm -hmm. ran across the street, was hit and killed by a car. Mm -hmm. There is a cause of action for that in the law for human beings. She could sue you for your negligence in failing to supervise her four-year-old, mm -hmm. as a result of which the four-year-old died. Mm -hmm. Now, you're an animal activist. There are some good ones and there are some nutty ones. We're all nutty. Yep. No. Well, if you're all nutty, then you would agree with me that this, because I love my animals, that there should be a cause of action when someone is negligent. Well, it happens not on purpose, her yard not all the on, time. Hey, I told you, shut up and listen. Listen to me carefully. Called an accident. <laughs> you are so stupid. That's you are so <laughs> stupid. And I have to, you know, sometimes, sometimes a judgment has to reflect the stupidity of a litigant. And while there is no cause of action, I'm going to hear her evidence with regard to your harassment, because you're harassing me, and I'm not easily harassed. So I don't know what it is. I can tell you that you're no animal activist. That's right. Because an animal activist would understand that if you would be responsible for a four-year-old child, even though it was an accident, it happened under your watch. Well, animals are while, considered property. Shut up and listen. Animals are considered property in the state of California. Just a second. Well, that's what I said to you. I said if you were a real animal rights activist, you would not consider animals I property. I don't, but the law does. That's what I just said to you. If you weren't so high on something, then perhaps you would <laughs> understand that that's what I just said to you. This is not an argument, but you would understand the feeling that, yes, there is we no... We cried many nights over it. I said, I, her and I were best friends after this whole thing happened. This is a retaliation suit because of something else that happened. This is total... We were best friends after this incident. I sat at her house with both of these two and drank wine for three nights till midnight, drinking and talking and hanging out for three nights after my boyfriend called me I every night. I want to night. see, quickly, the we evidence of harassment. We were total best friends after this. And stalking. I have stalking also. Um, I was stalked, actually. You sat in front of my place of employment with your friend, Pat. She was trying to have my friend's kids taken away. She called Child Protective Services on a client. So I was... And I have pictures of that. What is this talking about? I'm so glad your dog was taken from you. What is that? She said, it's telling me she's glad that my dog is dead. That's what I said. I said, I'm glad your dog is dead. Yeah, that's what I said. She was trying to have my um, client's kids taken away with Child Protective Services. Judge for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,500. We're finished. <laughs> Why is our excuse? You may step out. I'm really happy, yeah. Justice was served for Daisy. I mean, it was awful. I'm glad that she'll be stopped, hopefully, from doing this to others. I went above and beyond, and it just was a tragic accident. I'm glad Daisy has justice.